All right, what's going on guys? We got another B-Stars tier list. This time, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'll be doing the guys, uh, so I will not be doing fuck, Mary kill. I was thinking about doing it ironically, uh, you know, having a few beers and having a little bit of fun with it, but sounded a little gay, so I decided to go a different way. Uh, so we're gonna do enemy, ain't, friend, and broski. Now, if you're wondering what ain't means, it means they ain't an enemy and they ain't a friend. Kind of like an acquaintance, but fucking acquaintance wouldn't fit in there. The E ended up on the bottom, so I thought it looked kind of weird. Uh, so I put ain't. Uh, so yeah, with that said, guys, let's get right into it. All right, so first up on the list, we got Oba, the fucking eagle. Uh, God bless America. And uh, pretty much a great friend here, guys. Uh, Oba's never going to let you down. Never going to let you down. Always going to be by your side. Always going to have your back. Just seems like a broski. Uh, just seems like a guy that's always going to be there. Oh, and I should clarify. Friend is someone you hang out with outside of the house. Broski's kind of that friend, that special friend that comes over to your house and uh, opens up the fridge without even asking because uh, he's a freaking broski and he's good for it. So, uh, yeah, with that said, I think Oba is going to be a broski, guys. I mean... Just an all-around good dude. I mean, seems like a guy that would be into kind of like shooting the shit with you and, uh, you know. The the fact that he's friends with Bill and Bill is so uh, promiscuous and so kind of loose with his words. And the fact that he's able to back up Legoshi, who's more reserved and uh, more quiet, makes me think he's just an overall good dude. And he'll kind of adjust himself to any situation and uh, just kind of an easygoing guy. So yeah. I think he's a broski. All right, so next up we got Bill. Now, Bill, I worry a little bit about. Uh, he's a bit of a loose cannon. The fact that he was blood doping makes me think if he was like a human, he might be using like steroids or something or probably on some sort of drugs. He'd probably be fun to hang out with outside of your house and, uh, you know, at school. But after school, you probably don't want to hang out with him. He'll probably be going into like rage fits or withdrawals or some like that or you know benders or just getting drunk so I, I mean it could be fun but it seems like too much of a loose cannon so I, I'd say he'd be a friend uh, but you don't want to invite him over to your house where your parents can see him all right so next up we got the head of the Shishigumi or the previous head of the Shishigumi you know before he got his head blown off now I wouldn't want to be an enemy with this guy simply because of the fact that he's the head of a mafia criminal organization so if you you got on his bad side he might want to kill you uh and he might go after you with all his resources so i wouldn't want to be a friend either um simply because you know he's probably the type of guy that you know if you're friends with him you got to do exactly as he says or you got to join his crime syndicate so probably an ain't you probably wouldn't want to be his friend you wouldn't want to be his enemy you just wouldn't want to be in his crosshairs i'll put it at that all right, next up, we got one of Legoshi's boys. I forget his name, uh, but he, lo he looks like a, a fun dude to hang out with. He's always just kind of there. You know, we all kind of have those friends in life. You know, you got a group of friends, and there's just one guy who's kind of quiet, keeps to himself. But, you know, he's cool, you know, doesn't really disturb the peace. He just kind of keeps the vibe going. So, yeah, I, I, I would say that he'd be a cool friend to just kind of just hang out play a game of football in the backyard or soccer or whatever you're into so yeah all right so next up we got uh dom he's part of the drama club and um we don't really know much about him um seems like an all right dude i don't know it seems like a bit of a buzzkill if you ask me uh kind of a little bit nerdy so i mean you know he'd probably be okay to hang out with but it's probably not the type of dude who's gonna be one of your boys if you know what i mean uh so he you know you're probably gonna know him you'll know his name you'll say hi maybe uh just make some small talk with him at school but not really the type of guy i could see myself hanging out with so I, i'd say ain't ain't a friend ain't an enemy Oh, next up we got Gosha. I think this is pretty easy for me, guys. Uh, I'd put Gosha in the broski category. Because uh, you invite him over to the crib, he'll probably cook for you. Might even do your laundry. Who knows? 
<laughs> but, you know, I think back in the day, he just seemed like an overall cool guy. Uh, you know, fights crime. So he's in shape. He'll, you could probably, you know, go to the gym with him, you know, play a game of pickup basketball or lift some weights together. You know, just the overall cool guy. Although he did leave Yafia for a girl. So, uh, you know, hoes before bros kind of dude. So, you know, huh? I'd still say he's a broski in my book, though. Oh, this one's a little bit difficult. We got Panda. Uh, Gohan. Um, I don't know. He's a bit of a loner. Although, if you do become friends with him, he will give you pornographic magazines. Uh, now, in the age of the internet, how valuable is that, really? Now, if we were talking about, like, back in the 80s or 70s, that might have been very valuable. In fact, you needed a friend like that. But nowadays, you know, we've all been spoiled. I mean, you just go to any website you feel like. There's a million out there. And, uh, you know, literally any video at, at your fingertips within seconds, milliseconds. So a magazine's just not as appealing anymore. But if you're into that sort of thing, uh, go hints packing. But that being said, uh... I don't know, he just doesn't seem like the kind of guy that's going to be fun to hang out with. He seems like the type of guy that takes things too seriously. So I don't know, I, I guess I would say ain't. Uh, not really a friend, not really an enemy. You just kind of know him, and yeah, that's really about it. Alright, so next up we got Ibuki from the Shishigumi. I think Ibuki's a broski. I mean, if you're friends with him, he's going to give you special privileges inside the Shishigumi. And he's just an overall cool guy. You could talk to him, he'll take you out for some beers probably watch a football game on the weekend with him i mean just seems like an overall fun guy to hang around with so yeah i'd say he's a broski jack's just an overall good dude once again really not much else to say on this one i mean i i'd say he's a friend i think uh you hang out with him with a group of people and uh yeah just an overall cool dude all right next up we got kai really don't know much about kai um yeah i don't really got much else to say i i don't think he'd be a friend i don't think he'd be an enemy so i guess i'd just say ain't again kibi um a little bit nerdy um you know you might you might be friends with him at school he'll probably be fun to talk to very nice guy probably not a guy you're gonna hang out with after school though so i'd probably say ain't with him too oh legoshi where am i gonna put legoshi oh boy this is a tough one now you have to consider the fact that legoshi is sort of a bit of a loose cannon gets himself into a lot of trouble you know he was having that new year's battle with riz he has a christmas battle with melon and uh he ate his friend louis foot uh, <laughs> so do you want to take that chance and he attacked haru in episode one of the anime so i don't know he almost seems like a bit of a liability i mean i know he's a good dude but i just don't know if i can trust him there's just too many red flags uh <laughs> I guess I would say friend. Uh, not a broski, just a friend. Uh, just like Haru said. Ah, Louie. Uh, another very interesting one here. A uh, bit of a loner, despite being very charismatic in uh, school events. And he's a bit of an asshole, you know? Especially early on with the drama club. You know, the way where he wanted to succeed, but he really didn't care about everyone else. He was kind of giving that motivational speech, but he's like, I'm just really doing this for myself, guys. So yeah, I don't know. Louie just doesn't seem like... Now, that's the type of character that I... I would like to be in fact that's kind of who i am in real life a bit of a loner don't really care about <laughs> anyone else uh yeah i'm just kidding guys but man i don't know this is a tough one i guess i would say friend oh next up we got the mayor anyone who's involved in politics is gonna be an enemy of mine uh so that's where he goes Ah, oh, here we go we got melon oh man maybe if you asked me this question a few weeks or months ago i would have said enemy but given the fact that it seems like a lot of his childhood trauma was caused by his mom and his dad uh, it makes me think that maybe he wasn't such a bad guy after all. Now, you know, you kind of have to take him for what he is. And at this point in his life, he's a criminal and uh, he's a murderer and uh, he's a psychopath. Um, so 
Yeah, I guess for all those reasons, he would have to be an enemy. Oh, okay, so now we got uh, Mizuchi's boyfriend, the White Rabbit. Uh, I don't know if he has a name. This guy looks like the type of dude you just invite over to your house, uh, play some Super Smash Bros with, maybe a little bit of Mario Kart. <laughs> oh, I'm dating myself here. I just can't I keep up with the modern games. I mean, I see people playing Fortnite, and I'm like, oh, fuck, this looks stupid. Uh, there goes half of my subscriber base, though. Oh, shit. Uh, but yeah, I, I think he's a broski. I think you could just, like, shoot the shit with him, talk about girls, play video games, just hang out, have a fun time. Oh, the angry mouse at the drama club. Uh, yeah, he looks like an enemy of mine. Uh, just always pissed off all the time. Probably takes himself too seriously. So yeah, he's an enemy. Ah, next up we got Pinna. Now, see, he worries me a bit because if you get too close to him, I feel like uh, he might make a move on you. He's definitely given off some vibes that he might be into men. So who knows? Um, I wouldn't want to be a broski. Uh, <laughs> friends? Uh, I don't know. He seems a little bit self-centered. Uh, although I'm a bit self-centered, so maybe we would, you know, go hand in hand. Uh, not literally, of course. Um, I don't know. I guess I'd say ain't. Not a friend. Not an enemy. Not really someone I could see myself hanging out with. Now, Riz, given everything that's happened to him previously, I would say you have to be his friend. Because if you're his enemy, or a at the worst, if you betray him, like Tem did, then, you know, we all know what's going to happen. Uh, you're going to turn into a bear hamburger. And uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's not going to end too well for you. So I would say be a friend. And he seems like an overall cool dude. He knows how to cook. Um, so he'll make you delicious meals, and he just seems like a nice guy to talk to. Alright, the duck at the drama club. Uh, yeah, I guess I'd say ain't. Uh, Savan, the, uh, leader of the Dokugumi. Uh, he seems like an alright dude. Uh, I, I don't know, I couldn't really see myself being friends with him. Guess I'd say ain't. Uh, oh, look at that, we got Tem himself. The fact that he betrayed Riz's trust and gave him the wrong impression, which eventually led to his death, I think I would say Tem would be an enemy. Uh, you know, I mean, the guy, you, you don't know what he's gonna do. He'll be talking shit behind your back. And, uh, that's no broski of mine. Ah, uh, so next up we got Yafia. Um, oh man, I put him twice on the list. Look at that. Yeah, Yafia. Man, I mean, if you're his enemy, he is gonna relentlessly chase you until he captures you or kills you. So you don't want to be his enemy enemy, but you don't want to be his friend either because he seems like the hypercritical type. Like, if you said one thing that he interpreted as negativity or as like a slight against him, he'll never be your friend again and he'll permanently make an enemy out of you. So... I guess I would say ain't. I would just try to stay under the radar. I wouldn't want to be too close to him. Next up, we got Seal Man himself, Zguan. Yeah, this is kind of a bit of a hard one because he seems like a cool dude, but if you go into his bedroom, he's going to take his clothes off. Uh, so you don't want to be his broski. You do not want to invite this guy over to your house, that's for sure. But he seems like a fun dude to hang out with in public. Um, a bit naive on certain matters, but, you know, he seems all right. I mean, I would definitely hang out with him. So, yeah, I I'd probably make him a friend. All right, so that's the list, guys. Enemy, ain't, friend, and broski. Tell me which characters you would be broskies, friends, ain't, or enemies with in the comments. If you got some time, check out one of my other videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip side.